All right. Welcome, Welcome back. back to fate. What? Candle? No. Well, oh. thank you. Okay. Now, if I am not mistaken, some folks are going to go visit. Uh, old dude. We gotta go to the stove. The stove. Listen, Finn. Going to see uh, Khajiit. We got top of the shenanigans. Who's staying behind with me? I will. I'll sit behind. <clears throat> okay. So, Krishna. So I'm gonna go. Spend Quetzal two. and Finn are going. I wanna go get uh try to look around the town real quick to make sure no other bombs are off. Or shady characters okay. sticking around. Uh, I assure you that if any other bombs went off, Whatever. you would very definitively know. Come on! Then. You could carry around my magic glow sword, though, and if the fucking thing goes off, and you go, ah. <laughs> so, bomb, okay. don't touch I, anything. I really, don't ask for I, anything. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to touch anything. They, now, again, it is late. Uh, that was a good at, idea. At this point, it's... Shut up, cook! It's a little bit... <laughs> cookie. It's 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 a little bit after midnight, I would say. Like it's very late at night. Um, normally they do not open the gates, but with a little uh, penumbra persuasion, uh, because the gnome guy kind of goes with you to go back into the, the town uh, city, uh, they do open the gates wide enough for you guys to, to enter. Uh, uh, one thing I want to say while they're here, <coughs> I'm going to take out my journal and sketch this device in as much detail as I possibly can. I'm just going to take my time with it and sketch okay. it out. You will have some time to do that, yes. Uh, you, having the day previous, sort of walked around the city looking at the various shops and stuff. Um, you know where Sven's little tent was. Um, and it's it's open all the time. It's kind of one of those kind of shops. Like Seven Eleven. Uh, it's like Seven Eleven. It's open twenty four seven. It or I guess in this case twenty four ten because it's ten days instead of seven days per week. Um, I and I deal with sitting that behind with that knowledge, <laughs> sitting behind the counter is a map. Is it the different, same? Different. Different mount. This is the first time I've seen a different mount. This then. is the first time you've seen a different mount, yes. Uh, it's, it's, it's a girl. It's a girl mount this time. Um, she kind of looks up. She, she's, because it's really late. Yeah. Like, not really any business going kind of. on right now. How cat-like does she look? Uh, she's barely a cat. She is very, very cat. Very cat. Very cat. So this is like a noble a lot of cat. mount. Uh, or normal-ish. <clears throat> she's she's kind of reading she's a book. Probably, she's reading a book. Um, hmm? And she kind of looks up. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's girl. kind of late. Got bird in here. <laughs> but Khajiit has wares if you have coin. Madam. Ooh, yes. We will be spelunking in the some eggs? caves. Twisting oh, yeah. turns. Jumps and dives. And I'm carrying acid. I don't want Sassy to spill on this. Oh, okay. So I need a lead box and several vials to carry this acid in. Okay. Um, what... Of, of what variety? And then I try to... Exam... Like, just to hold this much. <laughs> <laughs> About this much. <laughs> and I start like that's right. Yeah. The, the dimensions like making of the dimensions of the thank you. They want as big as my arm. I'll just tell her the dimensions, although I don't. Yeah. I, I you saw it. Yeah. I described it. Yeah. I was telling her we need the, this size, <laughs> these sizes, to hold this much. I'm gonna do this quick maths in my head. <clears throat> Acid, you say. That's right. Dissolve blocks. Ah, right. Why lead lined box? <clears throat> I've heard tell that acid can't do lead. Or 
Yeah, but it would be slower to a degree. Because I can smell it. It would slow it to a degree that it wouldn't burn. <laughs> Give me a it. deception check. <laughs> if it don't work, it can just intimidate me. Pull the truth. <laughs> you could have just said, I need a left mind box. No, don't. Provide for no questions asked. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> that... Bad, bad liar. <laughs> <laughs> Get the charisma for this. Yes. I know. Uh, what? What was your total? One. Oh, it's a nat one. It's a one. A nat <laughs> one. Okay. Gotcha. You really don't believe you can smell that. That's kind of terrible. Like, oh my gosh. All right. So, uh, <laughs> she kind of s- smiles uh, a bit at that. Um. It is true that I suppose a lead line box would stop acid from leaving the box, but a glass vial is just as good. We're just fine with that. We have some unbreakable glass vials. Interesting. Um, they're they're enchanted to be unbreakable. Hey Bob, can you turn this camera a little bit? Your arms. What about the stoppers in these vials? Uh, Thank you. Well, you generally have to, you know, like, we have options. Obviously, cork wouldn't work against the acid, but we have, there are glass stoppers. Um, there are some, it's a little more expensive, of course, but uh, there are some that don't open without the command word. Do you have any glass bottles that have been made with lead? Like, melted into the glass? Uh, Leaded crystal. glass is what it's called. Or crystal. Leaded glass. Crystal. <laughs> or crystal. It's called crystal. <laughs> crystal. You know. You know, know. But or lead that's glaze. an interesting idea. Um, we can start doing that. If you'd like. Yeah, that'd be, be great. Well, I do appreciate do the that. Uh, Guilty offer. Yeah, it would be, you know, more handy, less clunky to carry. I don't, I don't think we need anything magical, though. I'm going to be honest with you. I was sitting here by my brother. I'm not getting this for myself. And I don't have time to confer with him. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to go by his instructions. Okay, browse us now. So, so you just need a lead box. Lead box, glass box. Okay. <laughs> She's doing questions this time. <laughs> Motherfucker's just going to keep trying to lie on me. Uh, generally, we, we do get stranger requests this late. So that's not an impossible thing to do. I need a shovel, some tarpaulins, and some duct tape. And some lime. <laughs> <laughs> some lime. <laughs> you got that for me? <laughs> uh, we have all of those things. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> duct tape? And you, you do notice when you enter uh, it's made of duck bill. that, like all the other Sven's coffee shops we've ever been in, uh, like the tent you walk in is relatively small. It's just the exact same store. Huge, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Huge warehouse space. Um, I'll have to go in the back, but I think we have one that's not being used currently. And she kind of sets the book down um, and goes into the back. What is she reading? What? Is <laughs> that's a great question. That's exactly what I would have asked. Uh, <laughs> give me a there? perception check. And a percentile, maybe? <laughs> Based judge what no, it is. I, I know exactly what she's saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tusk love. It's not Tusk love. <laughs> no. I'm just going to stop rolling. It's a three. We'll say <laughs> it's it's not a high... It's just sitting on the table. And it's in common. Um, you immediately recognize the name of the writer. Because uh, he's a very famous bard. Oh, fuck. Uh, the writer is, in fact, Eisenschmidt. And the book is called Eisenschmidt and the Thousand Dwarven Ladies. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, How much is this or book? Or could it be called uh, uh, Eisenschmidt and a Legion of because, Dwarven Ladies? Uh, We're reading to my children every night. I mean, that's like, that's like a Roman style. Yeah. She's, she's reading yeah. It's smut. It's totally <laughs> yeah. smut. Like, of the trashiest kind. Forward by Ulfgar Frostbeard. 
because if you all remember, every time he would tell the story, <laughs> it was more. There, were more, there were more and more dwarfs. So by the time he got around to writing it down, he was up to like a thousand. So he just, <laughs> he just did, did that. Yeah. Uh, and as as you're kind of reading it, she kind of walks back in, notices you, and uh, she kind of looks down shyly, like she didn't expect you to, to look at what she was reading. <laughs> She can't blush. She can't really dead. blush because, you know, fur covered face kind of thing, but. Uh, Her whiskers curl. <laughs> yeah. And she, she places the box. It's pretty, like. Pretty big and hefty. It's a pretty good sized box. And she kind of just places it down. Um, you notice that she had. Uh, when she left, she didn't have anything on her hands. And when she came back in, she, she was. She also had uh, gloves, like g- gauntlets, if you will. Uh, gauntlets of ogre power. I think to give her the strength to actually pick up the box to put it on the counter. Because it's a heavy lead line box. Lead. <laughs> um, I'll pick it up. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just it. Yeah. 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 Um, it'll be total. In the vials. Uh, you just want regular vials? For the, for the acid, or what's the difference in cost? Well, regular glass vials are like one silver, maybe. Uh, I don't know what the actual price is on glass vials. I guess that's what he's looking up now. Twenty, twenty-five uh, gold. Oh, that's acid vial. <laughs> it's like damn, uh, one gold. Okay, fair enough. It's uh, one gold for a glass vial. Uh, for an unbreakable glass vial, that's going to run more along the lines of five gold each vial, because um, it's it's a fairly minor enchantment. And how many will we need to? Wait, well, it's an enchantment. Yeah. Then never mind. Yeah. Just get regular. Vials. I'll just get a bunch of regular vials. So yeah, we won't work on it. And she kind of puts one of each type on the counter. The counter. Yeah. And the regular one is just a pretty standard glass vial with the glass stopper and then the other one is uh it's kind of the same glass vial but it has lightly glowing runes etched around spiraling down the opening uh and on top like on the actual vial cap itself uh so um how many vials do you need five ten how much can hold? And then how whatever the volume is. is. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the volume I said was. Yeah, based, based on the volume of <laughs> the <laughs> powder. Uh, you'd probably need seven to ten vials. Like, if yeah. you're wanting to split it all up from the big tube into well, that big tube's vials, gonna break. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. So and it won't. It, even if we get it in, in there, it's gonna break in there. So will two rack fit in the box? Will all of will that all what we need is like a rack inside? Yeah, we don't, yeah, in. we don't want to just put just a bunch of vials okay. on top of each other. Uh, yeah. Is it out? It's dead. Okay. I'm down to nine percent. So my well then, die. your power outlet can uh, charge it. I think your power strip or the power strip down there. Oh yeah. Oh. We have the technology. Yeah, unplug it from the battery and plug that long USB cord into the power strip down there. Faster. The cord's like... Okay. We have the power. It's six feet. I don't need a power strip with USB ports. I don't know why I have done that. Handy, dude. Walmart, dirt cheap. It's the most convenient fucking thing. Very handy. All right. (laughs) Sorry, I had to take care of that before we lost our music. (coughs) So, with the left box... And ten vials, and a two brick, and a two. Oh, to, to put inside the box. Gotcha. Uh, thirty gold. Sounds good. About change. And I want to say, I love your about choice about of literature. I have a copy of that book as well. <laughs> <laughs> then you see me like. Whole body blush. She gets a bit like uh, uh, tongue tongue twisted. Uh, 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 really? <laughs> so the cat lady going after the dragon man. <laughs> well, it's just 
No one yes. ever looks at the bird man twice. <laughs> you have feathers. It's kind of weird for a cat. You she should all make a design. Get a devil. I want that. I want that bird. <laughs> looking for? I need 20 javelins. Jesus. <laughs> How much are javelins? Five silver. Okay, so that would be 10, well, 10 white, 10 white drop down. Sorry, it was 30 white drop down. For the, That'll do. You, you understood what I mean. Huh? <clears throat> I can do that. Okay. Uh, and she kind of points you down one of the several aisles. Cool. You pass by, like, some potions and some other things. <laughs> it's a big, oh. big store. Cool. Actually, it's two gold. Two gold? It's five silver. Five silver for 20, so five times. Oh, it's four. It, it's five it's silver. Five silver per javelin, so he wants 20 javelins. Yeah. And it takes. Oh, it'd, I did the math. It'd be 100 silver. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> 10. Ten white. My math's bad. Ten white drop. Though I did, I did calculate the fastest any character could possibly go in a game of D and D. So there's that. How fast is it? Um, I'll, I'll tell you later. We'll drag the game down. It's like <laughs> two thousand. Oh, feet. I'm, dude, I've got it higher than that. It's pretty crazy. Two thousand feet in a round. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. High level monk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> With that cat that can. So did you guys know that the spell shape change carries over all racial, class, and item traits? So they have to be a druid? A no, couple all levels. you have to do is have someone cast shape change on you. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So you have a friend yeah. who's... You can, yeah, with haste and Boots. mobile and all that other fun stuff, it's pretty it's pretty absurd. Yeah. Haste, but yeah. not relevant to uh, what we're doing. 22,400 feet in one round. Jesus. Wow. 22,000. <laughs> You shape change yeah. into the fastest creature in the game, Quickling. So you're like, you're oh, yeah. Standard one yeah, I know what a Quickling is. You're, you're the Flash. Yeah, you're, you're the Flash. It's 2,545.45 miles per hour. Wow. So can you I have issues. travel back I, I, and tell I, I, I did all that math. Fuck everything up. Um. <laughs> so you, you have your javelins. Uh, is, <laughs> are we leaving? Yeah, I guess. So uh, I'm walking out the door with the so big giant box. Can you fit the box in the back of holding? <laughs> Put your I <laughs> that's that's pretty clever. Actually. Don't know. Can yeah. I fit the you box in the bag of holding? Um, Tommy no. has the bag. Okay. I have, bag. <clears throat> well, I have another bag. So, oh, yeah, so we're just carrying the lead fucking. But I, I can't. Here, okay. So yeah. the bag of holding. A couple of important points. Yes. Yeah. The bag of holding has anymore. an opening of a diameter of two feet. Two feet. Yeah. This box is the bigger box than that. The box is bigger than that. Yeah, for sure. All in right. In an effort to like, to be able to hold what you need to hold. Yeah. We need a portable uh, hole. That would be really nice. Should have asked that at Spence Coffee Shop. Yeah, I used to have one of those. We, we beefed up. Pretty handy. Uh, Comes out some sticky situations. <sighs> what do you do now? You go head back group? to the, okay, the stuff. Again, they. You're not with them, right? You're, you're scouring the town. Yeah, he's, yeah I, was, I was just uh, like... W w word was left to let you back out. To go out to... Back to the... the Things have cooled down a bit. People are still concerned. Uh, and very largely worried. Now, this is the, I believe, the third night. Cool. Is that a change of the trials? Mm -hmm. yet? Mm hmm? Is that Enchanter done with my frying pan yet? There's another, like, six days, no, seven days left of, of, of the trial. I forgot how long it took to probably do that. Yeah, uh, that, that'll be at the end. Okay. It's all that bitch in the way. I'll hunt him down for that frying pan. Probably got some serious business right now. Is it a self-eating frying pan? Is that yeah. It's pretty handy. When you, handy. when all of you return, Argus is kind of standing before everyone else as, as you kind of walk up and he's kind of in the middle of all right so we have I've got my daughter curled up on my lap that's fair um, 
There are at least five more of these, assuming that the six is a quantity. Um, I don't know when they plan on setting these off, but I have an idea as to when. I don't know, but Merrick is going to be here on day seven. That would be an excellent time to. Yes, we, we. This could have just been a test of the device to see if it would work in the first place. That's true. Yes. So we have four days, if that really blessed enough, to find the bombs and disarm them. Do you know of any other large events being held around now, near here? No. Um, the trials of the Magi are the biggest thing going on right now. Is is Sotus having any kind of reception or ball for for the trials? It's, this is a big event for his town. Uh, I would assume that there are important people here and important people like to network. Hmm. Um, one thing, and this is kind of, uh, this is a relatively new thing, because this sort of is a relatively new grouping that has sprung up, but on day five, which is two days from now, is the competition of uh, the arcane chefs. Yeah. Because it's kind of a, it's a relatively new thing. They, this is like maybe the second year that they've had it. Well, you should go compete. So we're like hipsters. Uh, we're doing it before not necessarily school. hipsters per se, but it's definitely something that uh, like it, it's been developing over time, but they've never really knew where to put it in the university trials. <laughs> uh, just because it's like it's so random. It's it's a little <laughs> random, uh, but it works. So are yeah. the judges going to be the only one eating the food, or is it going to be available to the population? Uh, that's a good question. Oh, not all of it's meant to be eaten either. Look at his hot pockets. Right. Um, not. Could even this really spicy? <laughs> not. Not all arcane it's a chef spicy. food is designed to be eaten. Um, some of it is. Some of it's not. Um, there will be tests of the sort of damaging food. There will be tests of healing and other sort of bonusy type food, um, like there's food that grants you boosts of speed and extra damage and that kind of stuff. What like, are they going to test you on? Um, it's going to be held in the arena around midday. Test so. some bears. <laughs> going to feed a bunch of bears. <laughs> they have a bunch of buffs and see what they do. They they can summon creatures because um, there's a bunch of different wizards and stuff there that that, that have the capability. Um, there's uh, a whole multitude of 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 options they have for that. Some things the judges will be eating themselves. Uh, <clears throat> some things might be made en masse for public consumption, but for the most part, it, it's pretty contained. I'm always around to cook for the public, too. We may have the people. <sighs> Are there any nations at war with this area? <clears throat> what, what, what would be the outcome of that bomb had gone off? Of course, mm. death and mayhem, but only in this city. Or? Um. Well, okay. As far as like the Re regional politics, the cloud of madness going elsewhere. Right. Yeah. What's, um. What's the end game? You're not hundred percent sure as, as far as how, for example, like how dense the the powder is. I mean, it's it, it is a fine powder, but it might not. 
just stay in the air forever. It, it, it'll settle eventually. Uh, and it didn't appear like there was enough in that bomb to cover like a, a massive area per se, as far as like miles and miles. But it was enough to seriously mess up a city, uh, or at least a chunk of city. <clears throat> and this test uh, failed, of course, and no doubt somebody, because you're obviously not the only group that saw that explosion, because it was insane. No, oh, most most of the town saw the sky light up. I'm sure at the very least. I'd like to kind of that was at nighttime. Check around, and, like ask people. You know, is there anyone like against the trials of the Magi? Like, is there some reason that they would want to? Uh, okay. We haven't like looked give me, for the motive at all. Give me an investigation check. Or any important people that were there, or groups of important people. Or... Yeah. So this will probably take you an hour, God damn it. ten or so. <laughs> That's okay. Hold a three. That's good. All, all right. right. Like you learn a few things. With a 10. Because it's, it's not a terrible roll uh, overall. And you basically what that will determine is how long it takes you to do it. So you're out talking to people a um, couple hours. Most of the people you end up encountering are mages who have no problem with Trials of, of the Magi because it funds all of their research the whole year. At mm -hmm. least some of them would be shit talking to other mages. So that's fine. Um, there There is um, sort of inter-university uh, competition competition and rivalry and they'll like they'll they'll be like well so and so you know doesn't like it because he sucks or whatever you know that kind of thing but one thing that you do pick up on is that well the day before when you were walking around the city, you notice all of those little coin boxes. It's gotta go somewhere. Obviously the amount of money that they're putting into it doesn't fit into that little coin box. Mm -hmm. It has to be going somewhere. Um, the best that you can gather is that it is likely a ploy to generate enough chaos for someone or some group to perform a heist abscond with all that money see god damn we should have done the heist first uh, now they're gonna get all the money and then we'll be broke now you you you've already stopped the, the test and we uh, saved a lot of lives you saved a lot of lives we're heroes some songs about us. But there's more going on. <laughs> Much more going on. Uh, Argus says, well, um, time is, is, is definitely of the essence, but uh, rest is necessary as well. So make your plans. Are we staying here? I suppose. Yeah, that's, that's up to you guys. Well, we're still welcome to the bazaar. Well, the question is, why would the leader of the city be blowing shit up? Where's Ignayak at? That's where we're at. It's right the now. city okay. that yeah. so you're that's outside the, of right now. Okay, so that's the leader of the city we're in. Yeah. Trying to blow up the carny outside of it, apparently. Yeah. And you told the leader of that carny to arrest the leader of that city. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a detainer if you can find them. <laughs> well, you want to try your plan? Are you I going like my plan. Discuss? I like it too, but you got, you, the problem is, even if like someone punches you in the mouth, he still might catch on like you're not talking right. Well, now I'm a charlatan. I should have the ability to fake some other kind of voice. You can't. You've never heard yeah. his voice. Is the problem. Uh, yeah, he's an orc. I grunts. think you did. I think you did hear his voice when we you heard fought him, him in the cave. We heard him chanting. When you fought him in the cave, okay. yeah. So would I be able to remember enough of that? <clears throat> Give me an intelligence check. Okay, that 
is a 17. Yes. You, now, to be fair, full orcs, a lot of the time, are very similar sounding. Very guttural. They're grunt. Yeah, very, very grunty and guttural, so... If, only, you, if I knew orcish, this would be so much better. But you can, know. you can approximate his voice, yeah. So I'm gonna, well, with my daughter still in my life, I'm gonna disguise self again, and <laughs> just saying his voice, does this sound enough like him? It'll work. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we have a plan. That's about as deep as I can Now who's going with you? Is Kane going with you? Or did he decide against that? He's not returned yet. Oh, well, that's a problem. <laughs> I'm going to drop mask in faces. Who? Kane. Kane. I'm assuming you're Oh, that's right. Kane. You went... Yeah, probably not. Where, where'd you go again? I'm just... I was basically just uh, going around town to... To, to kind of scope a few potential yeah, spots. Yeah, just sort of check to see if there was anything <clears throat> okay. weird going on. Uh, okay, fair enough. Give me an investigation check. <clears throat> that's that's cogged, Gerald. He thinks it's cogged. Is there something face up? Technically, the five. Yeah, the five was a. It kind of looks like just just reroll. Yeah, let's see. I just talked. We all need to get dice trays. Yeah. Even with the dice tray, I got a cock die. Yeah, but you're also on you're on incline too. He's level. If you if you prop that in with the last player's handbook, it might not be as much of a level. Eighteen. You can probably. Eighteen. Okay. Yeah, actually. So you are looking at. Potential locations. Me? That's very low. I think it's better where than they straight down. Roll it. Where they may put. Where they may have planted bombs. It's better. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. One of the more obvious options, potentially, is the arena itself. Mm -hmm. Because during. This, event, this event, there's a ton cool. of people there. Yeah, is this like the like standard gladiator pit type arena where they have the elevators under the sand? Uh, yeah, kind of. <clears throat> um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. There are a number of taverns in the city that might constitute a, a decent location. Mm -hmm. um, so we do need to recover our abilities after kicking <laughs> these asses. Obviously, oh, the, uh, we're healed. But I don't know also, obviously, I, I guess I should say the, the, the main merchant square, no longer, I don't think. which in this particular city is called the Beige Market. Okay. Um, just because everything's, you know, tan because of all the sand everywhere. Makes sense. Uh, Makes sense. <laughs> Perfect course and it gets everywhere. The university does have a primary tower in Inigak. Okay. Like, because it's, it's a large enough city that the university has a, a permanent location. So that is a potential option. Um... And one that proves to that you kind of consider but may not actually be relevant mm -hmm. is uh, <clears throat> there's a building that sits near the uh, near the sort of main castle, if you will. Of Ingriac, like where where uh, Sotus lives, I would I would say, um, and it's it appears to be made of a uh, very solid black metal, and it is called the Adamantine Copper House. It appears to be some sort of bank. 
Mm. But again, uh, knowing the mages, it that may not be where they keep it. You know, that may not be where their money goes. So. Gotcha. So Colosseum, <clears throat> some taverns, the beige market. Mm -hmm. And this this takes you a couple of hours walking around the city. Yeah. So it, it it'll be early morning, like four o'clock in the morning before you get back to them. Okay. And you guys can have started your rest or whatever. I'll say I probably would have gone to sleep by then. Well, we say Coliseum, Taverns, Page Market, the uh, University Tower, University, and the Adamantine Copper House. I'd say by now the adrenaline has worn off. You just like that was keep, that was keeping me, you know, conscious and fucking sane throughout disarming a bomb that would vaporize me. Mm -hmm. So having a full blown panic attack. <laughs> And just climbing in bed with my wife and my kid and just holding everything. Yeah. Just like... Is it is it the kind of panic attack where there are, like, tears and stuff? Or you just, like, heavy breathing and... Just, like, mo mostly just, like, the heavy breathing. And just, just the like, shocked oh, face doesn't oh, God, go away. I could have died. I could have died. My kid could have died. Yeah, I'm not okay right now. The, like, right shocked, now. Yeah. scared, end-of-the-life face just doesn't change. Yeah. stone face. That's why I want them both there with me. Your it's wife, easier when uh, you die once. Your wife <laughs> talks you down. You live with it. <laughs> oh, it's it's fucking it, terrible. <laughs> what? It's easier when you die once. Once you've died once. <laughs> You're used to it. <clears throat> it's just um. terrible. <laughs> Like we all could have died and it would have been my fault it would have been my fault and no one else's and I fixed it and it's, it, it was through luck alone that I fixed it it wasn't through skill it was mm -hmm. I picked wire I don't <laughs> I'm not okay <laughs> I'm not okay no no indeed uh, despite your restlessness you do eventually pass out from the exhaustion um, <clears throat> this time I get the full long rest I need that <laughs> yes everyone will get the benefits of the long rest yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Clank just yeah. sort of powers yeah. down for four hours <laughs> oh <laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> recharge so, so. and when I turn back on no, it sounds like the AOL thing, login I don't know why I haven't added this. <laughs> You've got mail. <laughs> like, I'm like ready to boot it up, and I was constantly doing different AOL boot beeps. Updating, updating. Here are some cat <laughs> That's hilarious. Would you like yeah, to install Internet stupid. Explorer? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no. Would you like to make Internet Explorer? <laughs> no. Uh, no. Chrome. Chrome. It'll be a battle after pop on Chrome. Oh, shit. <laughs> Because you got to sleep late. Of course, you'll have to relay the information that you gathered in the morning. Um, your eight-hour rest brings it to pretty close Love. to noon. The black eraser right next to that computer. Of the fourth day of the trials. Um, when we wake up, I'm going to go to Kane. I'm going to find wherever the hell you went. Did mm -hmm. we tell where you slept? Are there the sexy this? badger? Are they uh, up the guard? Are there people like fucking? Yeah, actually, probably. Uh, yeah. That's, mm -hmm. I probably, I probably did go and crash the sexy badger. More oh, than likely. well, that's fair. So I just in town. <clears throat> so that, that's totally fine. You're more than welcome to do that. No, I'm gonna so try and. Um, are you gonna come back to the carnival? Um, with us? Yeah, probably. Since you've kind of been assigned to us. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so I'm gonna find. I don't think he likes us very much, guys. <laughs> Quetzal cooks you all a, a lovely so lunch slash now. breakfast yeah. type situation. Like, what, what are we going to do about these um, future bombs when we come across them? You know? We can go we grab that tinker every time. We're going to be able to commission that motherfucker. Well, I would say at this point you have obtained a fair bit of knowledge. 
uh, concerning the bombs. Both of these two um, characters have for sure. Right. Quetzal they're, and they're not Crowley. the same. Uh, well, necessarily. I mean, you haven't seen another one yet, so you don't really know if it's going to be the same exact type. Um, Perhaps the wires were in specific locations, like connecting specific files. Or... Right. That's certainly an option, a possibility. Um, I would say that investigating the bombs going forward will have some degree of advantage. Yeah. Maybe sure. a reduced difficulty class of finding the right thing um, because you now have some <coughs> working knowledge of the damn shoot and take it the bombs I was trying to see if Melanie took locate object no because if it's something that looks exactly like the, the one I have here I might be able to trace it to the next one that's true yep but so, you're eating Quetzal's delightful food. Wonderful. wonderful. You, are, you have an excellent chef, Grunch. I made you. Today when, I made you uh, chicken and waffles. Kane, are you uh, heading. With some delicious mimosas. Are you heading straight out. <laughs> are you heading straight out there? Are you going to do anything in. And Jameson's here. Yeah, first? A nice whiskey. Um, <laughs> nice whiskey syrup. No, I'll, get, I'll just go ahead and get up and I'll make my way back to them. Do you eat at the Sexy Badger or do you eat when you yeah. get over there? I'll, I'll eat the I'll eat at the tavern before God I leave. Dick okay. King, son of a <laughs> I didn't know you were making food. That's true, he didn't. When he you gets, might eat more. <laughs> when he gets back, I'm be personally offended. <laughs> He's uh, he offers an insight. Huh? The matron of the sexy badger, uh, who is also human. No. Oh. Uh, of course. Tiefling, dragonborn, brings you human. Yes. <laughs> There's two humans. You asked who else is human. No, no yeah, the, he, this the is about him. Matron I'm of the sexy badger. The matron of the sexy badger is also human. Uh, she is obviously not dressed as a member of Penumbra, but you, you know. You know that she knows that you yeah, know that she knows. Uh, <clears throat> and she, she says, "Were you? I, I heard that you were outside dealing with the." Uh, event <laughs> that happened out there last night. Crazy things. Crazy things, I suppose. In in the thieves camp, she asks you, uh, is there anything, is there anything you need? It's so all casually flip back. It's, uh, good for now. It's, uh, all right. So we'll return if needed. She, she responds with, uh, we are at your disposal. Could, could you give us up? Yep. And then we get up. So leave, leave a tip. She takes it. <laughs> did you give me my change, by how the much, way? How much do you leave? <laughs> um, um, so did you give me my change? I have not. Um, there it is. Thank you. <laughs> how, 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 Damn. How, how much was your breakfast? So, yeah, the, like, well, that and the stay. You don't, you don't pay to stay or it's eat out there. I'll leave her three white Draka. Okay, that's fine. She'll take it. Put she it. said Draka to me. Put, <laughs> it, put, put it behind the counter. Yeah, you know? the hookers. <coughs> the hookers. <laughs> when some dead hookers. Yeah, that's one of the benefits of being a... An agent of yeah, that's that's why it's, it's, uh, it's <coughs> make you don't have to pay for your room and board at the sexy badgers. Do they pay for your hookers too? Hookers. Uh, generally speaking, Penumbra itself does not partake in the goods. Uh, of the night, you know, shit like greed, man. Penumbra doesn't. Well, sound also, like the, the girls probably wouldn't ask payment from them this time, or the guys, or whatever. Well, I feel like it's, it's not whatever a, you're in 2K, yeah. you know. You're tickling your fancy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not. It's not really even about that. Uh, it's it's just business. Business. I mean, it's it's just not. Generally speaking, they they use that to gather information. So, you return. It's about twelve thirty ish when you get over back to the bazaar. Okay. Uh, everyone is st 
still stunned. Um, many people are still asleep because, you know, it was a long night. Uh, there is, as you're walking through the, like, tent area right outside the city, there is a general air of unease. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, for, makes sense. For very obvious reasons. And <clears throat> you reach everyone else. I'm assuming Harriet will return soon with the animals. Hoping she will. The big leather horses? Big leather horses. Big <laughs> the Baskers and my brother. And You have not uh, seen or heard tell of Harriet, Ishmael, and the critters yet. Um, who knows? They're not, not currently back. So... <clears throat> Proceed. What what would you so, like to do? So when he gets when King gets there, I hand him the decoded note that we found, and ch- and make sure he understands why I wanted to take this course of action in the first place. Okay. That's that's pretty uh, that's pretty much all of my reaction is just okay. Is is the, like the dude not gonna ask about like where are the actual chemicals to this bomb casing? I mean, that is, that is certainly a problem, but... What, dude? The uh, fire giant mayor... So, king. just, just to ask, do you the powder this? itself, does it, is it, does it look like powdered sugar in consistency, or is it a bit more grainy like sand? It has the consistency of uh, powdered sugar. Very fine. It's very, very fine. Is it white, or is it a different color? Well, it's purple. It's, it's a deep purple. Okay. Yeah, the rage stuff is red, and the other one's like darker and it makes purple. All right. So, and here's my here's what I think we could do. Once we get the powder into the smaller vials, <clears throat> we could. This is this is my planning. This voice? is Crowley talking. Yeah, they were planning. Uh, me planning. Go ahead it's and keep planning. Plan in this voice. Yeah. Um, once we have it all portioned out, we have the intact larger vial. We find some. We either get some powdered sugar, or find something that matches the consistency. And I'm totally certain we have dyes here at the bazaar. But it won't have the same effect, the anti magic effect. That's true, but I mean, there's there's only so far we can take it. I mean, as long as it looks right. No, nah, I don't want to put any of it in there. Um. Wait, where are we taking all this stuff anyway? Um, the plan was for me to disguise myself as Gunter. Yeah. And take the casing yeah. with with his symbol on it. Mm-hmm. Not the timer, but just the casing. And <clears throat> possibly now the vial with something that looks like the powder inside to okay. um, Sotus. And say the, the, this is, the plan failed. This is the guy who was disarming the device. We need to check on the others. Um... Yeah, you would have to have the anti-magic field active. Like they, that's something they would notice. What's that? This is the last name again. Banebringer. Mm-hmm. I knew it was something Bane. <laughs> so I mean, okay. the, the only thing that we could do there is either include some of the some of the existing material, and that would hopefully fool them long enough. Or if there's some high-level cleric around, they might be able to. You know, enchant something with anti-magic because they have that spell. Like, how do you get a hold of this shit? How would you even find the powder? Well, it's, this would have to be specifically Nate. I mean, you can find confectioners. Well, no, I mean uh, the, the, the actual, the actual shit. shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, like, where, well. Where would someone acquire muscanita? I mean. Give me a nature check. Nature. Uh, ooh, I have nature. As well. <coughs> Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Finn, wouldn't you know? I'm proficient in nature, but it's a negative one modifier. <laughs> well, no, I mean, you, you, you have personal knowledge of it, though. <clears throat> of the rage stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, and, oh, oh sorry, yeah. I, I know where to find the, the other shit. You yeah, I'll give you advantage. Advantage with my negative one modifier. You all? That's worth it. Yeah, I'm going to roll. Two? <laughs> get a one? Get to give a bitch. <laughs> 
and a ten, so a nine. Okay, cool. Uh, as none of you have really ever used it, uh, used it, or acquired it, or anything, um, it's not readily known by you as to how it is acquired. Uh, it it must grow somewhere, but you don't know how or where it grows now. Now, to, to Levik, I know where to find that, and that is that is not an easy trip to make. The good news for you guys, so to speak, is that there is a whole plethora of magically aware people everywhere. in town. But we don't in know town. who to trust. Is the well, that's true. That's very true. Anyone with the guild well, we could probably we trust. Might not necessarily know what we have. What it. is uh, us to? I mean, even if we're starting to ask about it, though, they're already hey, they know no, about it. Hey, no, no, stop. What? There's probably at least one magical fucking penumbra person here. We should ask the penumbra. Do you have any mages in penumbra? And located nearby? I can see who's in, who's in town. Okay, you can do that. I will... That's who we can trust. You you, you tackle the Moscanita angle. I will make a few... The numbers behind make the whole thing. Oh, yeah, that'd be great, man. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be <God> fucked. <laughs> We'd be fucked. I'm gonna go talk to my mom about the leak. Okay. Since we're kind of abyssal type of people. That's true. Okay. Uh, she <laughs> is currently in the process of... He's just gonna poop on Yeah, he stealth uh, away. True, yeah. She's, she's in the process of of, one. Of, of, of of getting some things organized. Uh, and she kind of sees your approach and says, uh, Jail. That was a, uh, my boy. Seven. You're alive! You didn't bring Finn with Seven? You. Eight. That was an 11. Shut it. Mm. Just shut it. He's, yeah. he's not your toy. Yeah, I see. Please don't. Please. He should be. He has the mind of a child. I'm not concerned with this mind. <laughs> I want to have sound work on it. Uh, uh, zing! Yeah. <laughs> 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 Do the Seinfeld baseline. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, I need to distract it. You're disgusting. Anyway. Um, Rude. Mother. We need. Have you heard of anyone moving around the week lately? Basically, you're serious. Oh. No, I, I, it's, it's very hard to get. I'm aware, that's why I'm asking. I mean, um. I know Dad got it once, but I don't know who he got it from. <clears throat> yes, uh. You know, it has to be mined from a piece of. It's a stupid idea to go there in the first place. Special tools, yes, it's very, <laughs> very dangerous. For you know, non non abyssals. Uh, and even for some of us, it is as you I'm sure are well aware. Oh yes. Um <clears throat> I, I haven't you know, I haven't I haven't heard of any movement of La Vic. Because that device that we found last night was mm -hmm. had Levique in it, along with Muscanita. Oh, that explains the lights going out. Mm -hmm. huh. That is why anywhere near the tent where it's kept right now, does not <coughs> use, no magic's going to work there mm -hmm. until you get in, into the box. Wait, is there an analog block? Do we no, we have, oh, we have, we have a portion yeah. out yet. <coughs> the only thing I can think of, by the way, with that is if we take one of the vials and slip it into the middle like cover it with the rest of the powder that we're making. That way, even when we're done with it, we can still just take the bar back. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't know any way that's going to... You have to slide it in the shell. We're going to be able to split this out without it <laughs> getting in the uh, air. Well, Slide that's why we, we, we have uh, Evander do it. Well, I'm Next sorry. Thing. Clank, yeah, Evander. Genius. Well, Clank, Evander Clank creation. doesn't breathe. We could have him do it in Clank and Jadar. No. Clank Jadar. <laughs> Is that anywhere that's that you can think of that we can and by the way that, that was just me tel telepathically communicating with them because I can do that yeah no I gotcha I gotcha um, and <coughs> you can't respond we just gotta look 
We don't yeah. like it. Is there any way <laughs> that we can... Is there anywhere we can set up so that it would be safe, cut off from the outside world? Like, uh, using maybe the tents or something. That way, if... Because we need to, to carefully, as carefully as possible, portion out this powder into smaller vials so we can fit it into the red box that we bought. Mm. Uh, and if it gets into the air, it could get into a person and they would go insane. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not good. Um, I mean, we could clear we out a storage tent, but I mean, it's just a tent. Uh, there's no. I mean, we can. We have all sorts of things around here. We could. Is there a way to cast something around? Something? Wait. No, it's anti magic shit. Anti- um, so there's no way. Yeah. What if we sealed it, uh, somehow sealed it off, just with, um, there's got to be some kind of sealant we can use. Nope. Like, uh, sovereign, no, sovereign glue is fucking magical. Shit. <laughs> you have any caulking thing you can use? Caulk. Caulk it. <laughs> Get some caulk. Um, um, we are. <laughs> Quick! We need some caulk! Kind of <laughs> motions Anyone? below, like, on the floor is, like, sand. Because it's yeah. just tant. Episodes um, of the Aqua Team. I don't. <laughs> then the only I'll, I'll have to think about it. The only solution then would be to send him further away from the populace and do it on his own. Like out into the desert somewhere. I mean, that is the only thing I can think of. I mean, we couldn't. None of us can go with him. He doesn't need to breathe. He's the only one who doesn't need to breathe. Had real about working sand. Well. Um, Very well. I, there's, I mean, Good question. It. <laughs> there's no way we have nothing that would, would seal in a big room of solid glass. <laughs> could possibly do it, but I, I don't know where you would find that. Solid glass, that sounds like something a mage would need for delicate <coughs> uh, I mean, there's, there's some glass out there in the desert. Fucking Any mage should have that. Yeah. Can we get a. With the That's true, there is that. that that great big crater that's full of, um, <clears throat> well, it's cooled by now, but it's it's big glass. It's, it's a big glass bowl, but yeah. um, though no, the resilient sphere, or is it's it magic. Oh, yeah, magic right. work, yeah. uh, no, no, can't nothing. use magic. We have to think our way around this problem. Bob, yeah, any ideas? <laughs> a glass box. Can, can we make a glass box? We would have to I make. Mean, we'd have to find a glass blower and. Is really there any head shops no, no, close by? No, we would need a glazier. We would need some moon windows. Anyway, That's a big city. we would have to have a glass box or send Plastic. a plank way out, uh, and we would stand upwind while plank. I mean, the glass box the wouldn't have to be big. It just has to be big enough for him and the table. Yeah, but he can go small too. <laughs> well, he needs to be able to manipulate. The it's gonna, it's gonna be big enough for the. Uh, he needs to be able to be medium. If he, he goes really to small. his smallest size, yeah, he's he shorter be. than the larger container. Mm-hmm. Um, he needs to be, be small, like a very, very small. So he can yeah. only be like no his, size. His normal size is large enough. It's is about the, the height of a gnome, uh, which is about three feet ish, maybe three and a half, thereabouts. Uh, which is large enough to manipulate the tube. Um, so that's that's an option. Yes, so I'd have so to set down the box somewhere. I'm going to go find so like, a mage in town. And talk to him? Actually, no, I'm going to yeah, go psych myself up and not kill myself. Yeah. Okay. Go on, go on. So Don't die. You don't bring it anywhere. Right. Right. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can this thing explode? Okay. No. No, so, no, the other part that well, he shot. The exploding part exploded. What? I'm going to spend shop. I'm thinking he may have a room that we could rent. Just don't swallow it. I'll. He's, I'll he's closely yeah. lined with the guilds. Oh, so I'll, I'll come with you. This is great. The most trustworthy person I can think of. While you're there, can you pick me up some coffee? Some what? Coffee. I don't think they sell there. No. Okay. <laughs> of course he sells coffee. Yeah. It's a coffee shop. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't you do that? <laughs> this is this is not the character who always asks for coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course it's coffee. That's the last guy. Yeah. I need some nice oil. So, you make your way. And again, uh, people are talking throughout the city about the events of last night, and word spread. Are, are getting concerned. Um, in fact, a lot of the 
mages that have already done their trials have disappeared are bouncing. Yeah. They're like packing up their tent and they're getting out. They saw a giant explosion last night. I don't blame them. Yeah. <clears throat> so you see several several groups of of caster types in the tent city and even like in these like city prime, so to speak, uh, beginning to tear down their tents, getting to take all of their like their 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 wagon full of magical items and stuff. <laughs> Pile him up. I know. He's just on his back. <laughs> Wait, waiting for him. Ow. Rude. And you're being rude first. Yeah, that's true. You're touching him. Yeah. <laughs> you fell into the belly trap. I did. I did. Uh, <clears throat> and it's 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 still bustling. Like there's still a bunch of people there, but not nearly as many as there were. People are are, are starting to trail out. You see a lot of them passing by the Dream Bazaar. For those of you, of you that that stayed, people are, are bouncing off of that road and just heading out. Uh, anyway, you go into Sven's Coffee Shop and it's it's the same. Well, you you weren't there last time. Yeah, you know, I've not been in this, this location, it, it but I've is, been in a, a Sven's. Yeah, it is the uh, female male. She says, welcome. Hello. Um, I have a strange request. <laughs> so this is the magic shop. I know you get yes. the strange quest all this uh, time, but I don't know if you've heard this one before. Okay, lay it on me. Do you have access or somewhere maybe in this store that a, a, a hazardous experiment could be conducted? A safe room. A safe room, yes. Possibly made, you know, so any fumes inside could not escape. She she uh, oh, again. she turns she and yep. she pulls out from underneath the counter a uh, it looks like, like Woodford but uh, yeah, I'm one of the bills I'm trying to save money on your kind of things that are like on, on counters <laughs> it's a little cheaper right but it appears to be made of uh, like diamond. That's pretty good though like really diamond nice. oh, why did I think of this Liamon's yeah. tiny hut it's magic. Damn it! That's why. That's why I didn't think of this. And uh, she, 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 she says, "One Ding ding ding, ding ding ding. Um, and like from the back room, which is just as like a, a cloth barrier, uh, there's like a, a, a flash of of radiant light that kind of flashes through. And out steps an individual that you've never seen before. Mm -hmm. um, has a llama face. Oh my god! Uh, and unlike, say, like the previous campaign, does have a bit like his eyes glow white. Um, and he says, <laughs> Yes. I was called. I am Sven. Welcome to Sven's Coffee Shop. Uh, hello. Uh, I did not expect to ever meet you. Take a cup Hi. of coffee. Yes. Um, I'm very busy. What do you need? We need access to a, a safe <coughs> room. Um, possibly for, like, that you might use for experimentation. Ventilated? Non-ventilated. No, no air in or out. No, I mean, like, where it, it takes... Filters. It filters the air, yes? Yes. Ventilated, yes. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you, you would die. <laughs> uh, I can do this. Where do you want it? Uh, Carly's Dream Bazaar, if, they, if it's all possible. Sure. Uh, you got it. And then, those of you that are still there, <laughs> this, like, like, from, from the, uh, like, right outside of the like main tent yeah in the circus area there there's like a rumble <laughs> and up from the sand comes this this chest this, just rises this, this clear it's like a, a 10 by 10 room it's pure glass and there's like a glass table on it or in it like yeah 
sort of attached to one side of the wall. There's like a five foot space. That's the biggest gelatinous you know? cube I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody run. Uh, <laughs> Easy. <laughs> it Thanks. is. It is done. Yes. How, how much do I owe you? Oh, it is no problem. Okay. You you all will be shopping here frequently. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Till we, we all die. Like, we have bad. We have the badges for the free regiment, right? Yeah. Didn't I put mine on my neck? I'm trying to remember where I put my badge. I think you did. Yes. Mine, so I, I tap it. I say yes. We will be back. Very good. I really wanted a badge to flash people. It is no problem. Thank, thank Easy. you very, very much. So cool. Yes. Walk out. I will say that's why you put it on your hand. I think what are you, left uh, hand would be perfect. Is that all you need? Yes, that is, that is everything okay. that I can think of right now. Well, it, it will last for 10 minutes. No, oh, wait. Shit. What? We'll say. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. 10 hours? <laughs> Damn place Maybe. Now. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. That's not enough time. It will last for two hours. Um, is there any way that he and I could get back there quickly to let them know what needs to be done? Could run. Yeah, I, I, I did. Uh, oh, it's been too rare, crowd. I start to take <laughs> off running. his fingers to, to make it appear. I didn't know he could just. <laughs> no, you know, soon as soon as soon as you say that, I'm like, um, how about running? And I turn around. <laughs> now you're being lazy. <laughs> okay. I am not very yeah. athletic. <laughs> it's strength. He says, uh. Sure. No problem. And you. I, I was already like out the door. That's okay. Yeah. And he still got you. Still got you. <laughs> yeah. So Actually, you, that's really funny. Wait, 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 no, no. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Okay. You are. You're. You're tearing ass. Booking it. You're yeah. tearing ass. And then you appear <laughs> right next to the glass thing, like oh just slam God. right into it. It's like. Uh, uh. Uh, no, and of course, like, Crowley kind of appears next, next to, to me. you. Uh, <laughs> it gets to see it all. It is. It is. Very disorienting. Yeah. You've never teleported before, <laughs> ever? No, I know it I'm just confused happened. as hell, too, because I just like, hopped in just smack into a glass box out of nowhere. It wasn't there before. It wasn't yeah. there before. Glass box appears, there and all was, of a sudden, there was just... no flash of light. Yeah. They just appeared, and he slams into the glass, <laughs> like the side of, of, of the glass. Uh, obviously, there's no damage to the glass. Yeah. Uh, but it's like. Yeah. We, we need. <laughs> so I just look around at all of you, it's like. That that was very strange, and I'll deal with it later. But we need to move quickly and separate the, the powder. All right, let's clank. So, all right, robot boy, <laughs> get in there. You open the door. <laughs> get in the like box. A, when <laughs> it's an airlock. Yeah, and like when you yeah, <laughs> when you open it up, uh, and then secondary door inside. Secondary door inside. Uh, you you get in there, and. There is a. Uh, I'm gonna follow them in and deposit all the materials. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and I'll, I'll probably be walking to carry the. Yeah, you it's, carry that. It's, box. it's barely perceptive, or the table, table but at, like on the floor, there is a very small like uh, glass vent sort of thing that seems to be pulling it, pulling air into it down. Uh, it's uh, it's all glass, and it doesn't appear to go anywhere. But it just like go, it's just it's sucking air down. Can so. we just use this to dispose of all the powder instead of having to put it in the vials? That is a good idea. <laughs> if it's just ventilated, can yeah. We pour I mean, it down that's an option. We could just pour it down the damn drain. S Sven just was like, okay, cool. Here you go. Yeah. Whatever you. I we're don't not care. keeping it. There's no point. We're, yeah, we're, we're, so we're going to keep that, it. We should that is pour like. It. We should just fucking dispose of it. Yeah. Really, so all I go in a lead on box. To him. <laughs> Yeah, where, where that's does like, go, though? It's like not even... It's, he's a god. We don't uh, care. Yeah. <laughs> Sven is also... Note. Note, the god of technology. Yeah, so, he's, a, he's a deity. We don't care where it goes. Neither does he. <laughs> so he, this, this can be funneled out anywhere. And yeah. Most likely not on our plane, though, so we're cool. He, You don't know where it would go, but you could theoretically just dump it in there. Uh... That's up to you guys, though. I, I mean, I think that's a pretty good idea. If you want to siphon it off into different vials, you can. Over storage for like. Want to keep it? <laughs> no. I mean, there's saying, no, we have no use for this shit. We have yes. plenty of use for we it. We can save one vial just to see if we can find that's out where it yeah. comes All right, from. So that's what I was suggesting. Yeah. We'll do one vial then. Yeah, okay. one vial. So, and then we all get out of there and we ask Clank to take it apart and carefully Clank. fill one vial. 
After they deposit Don't eat the it, iron, I'm sorry, the lead line chest and the this other now tools useless. that you'll need for this, give me a sleight of hand check to see if you can open the vial without it shattering. <laughs> What's your sleight of hand? It's fine. <laughs> Is that going? He doesn't need By the way, breathe. you you have had a long rest, and you have Come things out. like your lucky feet, lucky and your feet, lucky stuff. and such. Eighteen. Oh shit. Eighteen. <laughs> Look at that. It is pretty good. Pretty good. Eighteen, I will say, is enough for you to gently uh, remove the, one of the caps. Uh, there does not appear like it doesn't necessarily disturb the, the dust until you start to. Gently pour it. Now, uh, you want to fill up one of the vials. Yes. So give me a nether. One more. Uh, let's see. I think this is more of a survival thing. <laughs> <laughs> do you? I do. I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> Trying to do this in order to survive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little performance. <laughs> That would be fine. I'm not juggling. I'm not a mixologist over here. I'm just trying to... <laughs> <laughs> like one cocktails. Like bouncing it's it like off my elbow. It would be <laughs> dexterity survival. Because survival is usually wisdom, I think, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But you'll have to... Because this is dexterity based. Okay, I'll take that. proficient survival? I am. So, do so you just add... It's a dex, dex check plus proficiency bonus. bonus. Oh. So just do slide of hand. If you're, if you're proficient in slide hand. Are you proficient in slide hand? No, okay, it's then. survival. I will allow that. Okay. So, dex plus proficiency. Proficiency. So dex plus whatever your bonus is plus two. Which so four. Four. Let's right. see what you got. Oh, well, help. Uh, I don't trust that one. <laughs> All right. And I'm gonna no. use a luck point just to make sure. Are okay. you adding a d6? <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 21. 21. Okay. Um, this is, based on how, how uh, fine this is, uh, you have to be very, very careful. It's very like, slow. Like, above 20. Very, careful. very slow. Yeah. <laughs> you, you hit the DC, which is good. Yeah. But you manage to... Fill a vial without getting the whole room. It takes through. you about... 20 minutes <laughs> to pour to pour it because you like you just like very gently moving it back and forth kind of thing to like have it just edge get in. the very top layer and and have having to hold the vial so it doesn't like just slam down in the bottom of the vial and like poof out uh, I'm just nervously pacing outside summoning and dismissing my sword kind of as a nervous <laughs> tick <laughs> Uh, I would imagine you're just like kind of spinning and the whole time, and it just kind of appears part. Eventually, way spins. you do get that vial full. And one thing that you're noticing, or that you have noticed, is that this area, this thing that's been created, is yeah. obviously magical, but works independently of the logic, mm -hmm. uh, because it's not. It's divine. It's not. Based. It's kind of like when we faced that beholder or whatever it was, and the and the magic and my magic worked. Yes. <clears throat> oh, that was the mind flare. Your swag worked too. Your swag. Mm-hmm. Because so hellfire. You get one vial. Okay. That's all we need of the stuff. The stuff. And then the good very stuff. carefully get the rest down the drain, I guess. Yeah. And so no. you don't need to carefully just dump it. Yeah, well, then he has to wait forever. I just while throw it down. Look, guys, watch this magic trick. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and then you walk out covered. No, I do not. I, <laughs> Why are you purple? I go up to the vent where the suction is and just tilt it and carefully, mm. carefully okay. into it. Okay, gotcha. Give me one more. Survival. <laughs> drop it. The Dex. Survival. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, twenty-three. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you rolled nineteen. Um, this takes you less time because you're because you don't have to be as careful with it necessarily. Uh, well, I'll say it takes a little bit more time just because there's so much more of it. But um, by the by the end of the first hour, that this 
space is going to last. It's uh, you are able to successfully like dump out the rest of the the grossness that is that powder. Well, and it while he's doing that, it you notice that it gets sucked down into the vent and just kind of disappears. You don't know where it goes. It's going somewhere. <laughs> I well, who knows? Yeah. Uh, Maybe in the middle of the sun. Is lavender considered say. a spice? Hmm? Is lavender considered a spice? Like ground up lavender? Uh, it can be, yeah. Technically, yes. Like, like if it's dried and, and made into... Why, well, you want to pull out some lavender and make oh, yourself... Yeah. I want to prank Finn. Oh, yeah. Blow some lavender in his face. Pull out my spice pouch. <laughs> some purple stuff. Like like a purple, purple powder yeah. and lavender. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me a, a step check. Scare him a little bit. And what insight for me? It's a prank. Well, actually, it's okay. what's it's prank's bad? Yeah, that's fine, huh? <laughs> yeah, nah. Okay. Well, let's see what his. In- uh, is it insight? It's insight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it's an. In- oh it's no, a it's one. a one. one? Okay. I have a one on it. Well, it's a four. <laughs> 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 All right. You think so. that's the shit? So, oh no! Oh god. Quetzal I- pulls out a, uh, like kind of, stealthily pulls out a bit of lavender powder from his his slice pouch and uh, blows in your face. It's like a purpley powder. And I <laughs> scream and run away from the city. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, like full, full bore. Yeah. That's hilarious. Just start yelling <laughs> and just run away from the city. Please! <laughs> like, Please! You get maybe... Like 150 feet. I was saying, I probably get more than 200 yards and before then, I really calm down. And then you kind of notice, wait. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not angry. angry. No, I'm, I'm not, not raging. Angry. I'm not raging. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not angry. Yeah. It's totally worth a charge of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, I ran several hundred yards outside of the yeah. tank area, just like, what? <sighs> yeah. What? Stupid <laughs> bird. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm mad now. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you like, I like, just walk like, back like, mad. <laughs> Come back. I got now, him. <laughs> you have to use, you would use that after he's already put the one vial into the lead box. That's fine. I'm outside the box anyway, so it doesn't matter. But. Well. He probably could have done that during the process and I would have freaked out. <laughs> so either know, way, there's purple powder his, in there in the safe room. His, his <laughs> spice pouch wouldn't have worked. And oh so yeah, yeah, yeah. Until the because was no gone. magic, no magic. That's right. I like that. That's 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 very funny though. <laughs> <laughs> just got him. Just calling ass out. You were the easiest target. I'm yeah, no, I, I'm the one who's gonna get pranked by anyone. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Insight, not a chance. All right. Anything else? Uh, what's what's the next phase of the plan? I think we should move forward with. With the deception. I agree. Clank, you can now freely exit. Open the doors. They I are did able, it. They're able to get out. Of course. Good job. They take out the lead box. You have. Uh, wait, 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 you have wait, wait, wait. nine. <laughs> you have nine more glass vials that are empty. Oh I boy. That. Hey, we can always use the empty hey, vials. I'll, can right. I have four or three of those? I just toss them to you. <laughs> I want to put them in my hand, bag of holding. All right. Okay. Like it, those are useful for collecting blood from. They're useful for a lot of things. So I take four of them or three of them, and then I'll stick the rest in the bag. Take of four. Thanks. Okay. Mean. So you said I'm nine, taking so four. four. I'll get five. Yep. Okay. Save them for later. All right. What's next? Do you think we should leave the chest here with my family? It's going to be a bitch to cart this around. Yeah, I don't want to cart this around. The lead chest. Yes. Um, I don't know do if I uh, trust it with your family. I'm not saying your family is like. What carnies? We're used to not being bad, but I'm just saying, you know, I'd rather keep it in sight. I understand that, but that means Finn's going to have to carry it everywhere. Yeah, I don't want to do that. You're a strapping young lad. You got this. I, I know I can. <laughs> There's can in this shoot. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I hate to just leave it with someone that's not us. It feels like a, just a bad idea. Unless we can, like, somehow lock it to where they couldn't open it. Or we should just dump it all out. There's not a way to cast a spell to lock it. So, l- we should well, dump it all out. It's in a lead chest now. We can cast a spell in a lead chest. Um, I'm going to call my sister over, the one 
the the what the sorceress? Can she lock the chest? I'm gonna see if she'll if she'll cast arcane lock for us. Ooh, okay. on that chest. I like it. Sure. Since sure it's in a lead lead chest, it should block the anti magic yeah, from coming out. Yeah, I'm I'm sure that 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 can be arranged. So uh, so have her cast, cast arcane lock across that chest. Only she can open it? Well, no, it means the DC to unlock it with Thieves' Tools goes up to 25. Oh, nice. Um, okay. So you either need a really good Thieves' Tool roll or the spell knock. Got it. That's fair. Okay. This makes it really fucking hard. I like it. I like it. I like uh, it. Now, now I'm a little more confident about Let me double check the specificity of that of spell. Arcane. Lock. When you touch a closed door, window, gate, chest, or other entryway, it becomes locked for the duration, which is until dispelled. Mm -hmm. uh, you and the creatures designate when you cast a spell can open the object normally, which I'm going to say is us. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Not my family, just us. Yeah, got it. <clears throat> the uh, party. You can also set a password that when, when spoken within five feet of the object suppresses the spell for one minute. Otherwise, it's impassable unless it is, until it is broken or the spell is dispelled or suppressed. Casting knock on the object suppresses arcane lock for ten minutes. Okay. While affected by the spell, the object is more difficult to break or force open. The DC to break or pick any locks on it increases by ten. So the typical lock, um, a typical lock on anything is the DC fifteen to unlock with these tools. That's why I said twenty five. Mm -hmm. uh, depends on how well made this chest is, though. It's a pretty nice chest. Okay, so a chest. Doesn't actually have an entry in here. Well, you didn't buy a lock either, technically speaking. I mean, most chests have locks on them. Okay, a lock. Yeah, a lock. Standard lock is DC 15. Mm -hmm. so that's why I figured 25 would be the check to unlock it with these tools, and that only works for so long. Arcane lock will still be there. And knock doesn't even fully dispel it. Dispel magic cast at it would just have to go against her spell save DC <coughs> and, and then the arcane lock would be gone. Right. What level is arcane lock? Uh, it's a second level enchantment. Okay. Well, dispel magic would just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Yeah, second level. But I understand your point. Okay. Very good. And I would assume <clears throat> my family has a good place to hide this within our multiple packs oh. of things that you have hidden. I can guarantee you that. Uh, we have multitude of chests that we cart around with us. This one won't be, yeah, you know, mm. won't be the like the first thing someone goes for. That's true. Um, because you have you have many different like ornate looking boxes that you carry various things in. And this is mundane as all hell. Um, it, well, it's 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 not obvious that it's a lead lined box. It's just, yeah, it's just it just looks, looks like, like a wooden crate. Chest. Uh, so that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> do we want to go with that deception tonight, or do we want to save that for next session? We will be saving that for next session because we don't have a lot of time left. But yeah. I do want to go into uh, the next sort of event that takes place. Um, around, and there will be uh, some things that you'll be able to do after this, of course, but, and this will potentially help with planning. Uh, <clears throat> about an hour after you finish with the, the putting in a vial and all, all that kind of stuff, there is runner, a messenger, arrives at the Dream Bazaar for uh, the messenger gives the parcel to Genevieve. That is to say Crowley's mother. Um, and she opens it up and it's, it's not necessarily by you but she does eventually bring the contents of, of the parcel to you, and it is, uh, um, Aloysius, I, 
Eli brought this to us. Uh, it seems we've been invited to some sort of party. A party? Yes. That takes the take the thing from her. Mm-hmm. Uh, Read it. It is an invite to a uh, an exclusive sort of special party that is being hosted by one Sodus Banebringer. Motherfucker. Mm. He knows he didn't <coughs> blow us up. What did what did the runner look like? Hmm? What did the runner look like? Ooh, we're asking you None of you saw the runner. Well, are you asking her? Oh. I guess meta knowledge. Well, yeah, ask, you ask can her, ask her, yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. Well, uh, looked like a little street urchin, really. Street urchin. Human? Uh, yes. No, no defined pointed ears or anything. So no horns. No horns. No scales. Like that, no. no feathers. No feathers. No, it's clearly Burr. human. Okay. Human urchin. Too many goddamn races. At this so we have <laughs> an invitation. Birds. So I'm gonna turn to Rusty. We have an invitation to a <laughs> party <laughs> at Sodus's house. Wait, how many people are invited to this? All of us? I hate parties. It's like a yeah, plus what eight. does the invitation say? Is it just right. for the Crowleys? Or is it for... It, uh, well, it's like a... Uh, it's a set of invitations. So huh. it's like it's not a... There are a total of eight that were provided. I'm offended they didn't ask me to cater. We're going to need a couple of people, like, scouting outside. Mm-hmm. Not actually going there. I hate parties. I can go in and cater. I like can cook. Not. Keep an eye out. So I kind of grab the corners of my cloak and then sort of flutter them. And then, like, <laughs> give a big flourish, and then and I'll be dressed in, like, formal wear. Mm-hmm. The hell was that? I have a magnet. <laughs> it's, a, mini it's a bow tie I was ah. throwing on myself. <laughs> you flip it out. <laughs> <laughs> the gist of it is, is, you're invited to an exclusive party held by Sony Spanbringer at the Golden Sphere, which is... Arguably the ritziest. I, was about, I would probably say sounds disgusting. Yeah, it's it's like the nicest inn in Igniac. Yeah. So it's not necessarily at his house. It's just the nicest fucking se. house in town. Uh, but it's like the. There's no names on the invite. It's just um, no. like a generalized invite. Yeah. No, but there's just enough for all of us. They are, there's they enough are, for all of us plus one. Yeah. Because there's, there's, se- there's seven of us in the party, and then yeah, one there's, more. There's not necessarily any uh, like specific names written upon it. Even fucked up. It's a trap. So it's everyone plus two, because I'm not going to a party. This sounds terrible. We, we might need you if it, if it turns okay. into a brawl. I, I hate parties. I understand <laughs> that. I will give you... Do it's you like food? A present if you go I, to the party. I want to eat food by myself in the middle of the woods. It's fancy loincloth, and he hates wearing that. It's <laughs> yeah. so stuffy. I will take you. I will give you a prize. <laughs> I will give you a prize if you go Play to the party. Play a cheetah skin. I, yeah. I don't want a prize. I want to go outside. <laughs> but I'll give you a present. Great. <laughs> I start shaking like keys. <laughs> come on, come on, boy. Jangly keys. I, I look at my mom just. Can you make them go to the party? I can try. Yeah, she needs a day. Can you stay with me? Yes, just do it. Please. Mm. Oh, this is awful. I'm, I'm pipping out of my <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Finn would be at all for that at all. I uh, know. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's the nice lady ass in uh, that party. With that, we will end the session. Oh, I forgot we saw that random magic candies. We're going to have another little oh. break. Oh, oh no. Before we go to the break, I want to say... During the day, at some point, I want to take two of those random pieces of candy and ask Quetzal, will you eat one of these and I'll eat the other? Yeah, we'll, we'll do All that. Alright, we're going to... Just shark candy? Yes. And, and I literally, they're completely random. I Because I just took yes. okay, hang some on. of all of them. I have a sheet that has that. I need a sheet. Uh, give me percentile rolls. Percentile dice. Which which one, like, what uh, what what color? I don't I know. I feel like 20. Can I roll for that? Made. Because I don't know. I have You're also you every color. Well, I don't know. I How many colors were there? Uh, I have every color at this point. That's and I, gra- yes. I grabbed two out of my bag. Okay. Yeah, basically, and yeah. hand, it's 
told him to take uh, one. What two right, are Harry this? Potter, How many are there? Uh, uh well, there are um, so many per, colors. Percentile. But it's Why the it's same. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, I don't know what color it is. Roll it's percentile. Blue and green. I don't know. <laughs> that works for me. Oh, that, that's not the right <laughs> number. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. <laughs> and all right. Uh, sixteen. <laughs> nice. All right. Awesome. Here we go. You both grow leg. <laughs> By the way, yes. um, the party uh, is set for the sixth evening. Great. Uh, All right. So, Sorry. Comes in? so 16, right? And you ate the blue one. I don't remember. I think he comes so, in day seven. With a 16, your head yeah, glows as the light cantrip <laughs> for 1d10 hours. What is that? He's not going to do the party. Eight one of those candies. <laughs> Two. Two hours. Two hours. All right. And then uh, for, for Quetzal, uh, you begin to burp slightly glowing bubbles the same color as the shard candy you consume. I don't want to like green. Is this green? Some green. wild magic table? Yes. I made a shard candy effect table. I've right, got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat one of the ones in my bag. I have ten of them. I've got twenty okay. of them. I'm gonna eat them all at one time. Yeah. Oh, like, not right now. Not right now. At some point, and I'm just gonna Wait, like. Which color is yours? Purple. It's a celebration. Um, sure, I'll take a purple one. Okay, do a purple one. It doesn't matter. It's just. I have one of. I have. I just picked. A, it's I just flavor. Yeah. Literally. You you burp the uh, green glowy bubbles for like an hour. Nice. Eighty nine. Eighty nine. You die. <laughs> Do not pass go. No, we're back in the United States. With an 89, have you taken any damage? Not today. Okay. Uh, if you are at full health, roll again. Okay. Oh, heal? Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> what, these are healing potions now? Okay, that's next to impossible. I rolled an 89. Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> roll again. 11. Oh. Eleven. Your head also glows as like entry for one d two. What did you do? <laughs> I don't need. That is so. That is next to impossible. Roll the same number of percentile twice. It is very very difficult. So uh, roll in ten. How many hours do you? Oh roll? yeah, I need to do ten. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting party. Your head glows. Well, it's the sixth day. We're on day four. Your head glows purple. Oh. All, right. all day is that's going to glow. Though. That's that's really great. And probably into the night. Love it. <laughs> all right. Hello, right. I can just imagine my wife looking at me on. What did you do this time? Why? <laughs> shark candy. Oh right. <laughs> She's had shark candy before. I mean, everyone has. It tastes good. Everyone's had it. It just has crazy effects when you eat it. This is really weird. Crazy fun effects. I can't wait to eat all like, of them at once. One of them uh, <laughs> I'm really weird. Is, die. is 89 in the highest percentile? <laughs> wait, can no. you overdose okay. on shark candy? Um, <laughs> like 91 to 100, you become invisible as the spell for 1d10 rounds, except that there's a faint multicolored outline around your body. That's okay. useless. Exactly. It's, it's the shark candy is not it's useful. It's just common fun. candy. <laughs> common magic candy. All right. We will be back in a little bit for the after party, and Ooh, then after as, party. as we kind of pick up, we'll be back. Later.